Why has there been such an explosion in chronic disease since the time I was a kid? Well, one of the major players has been the introduction of glyphosate into the food supply. Now, this was created earlier in the 20th century, but became more mainstream in use in the 1990s. And we have seen an explosion in chronic disease since the 1990s. This includes autoimmune diseases, different types of cancer, diabetes, and the litany of food sensitivities that did not exist with our parents. So this can't be just some genetic anomaly. And the reason is this thing acts like an antibiotic in the body. Antibiotic, literally against life. So we got to talk about some of the best ways to detoxify this from your body. And obviously it starts with avoiding the foods that are sprayed with this stuff. You got to choose organic as much as you can and get in touch with your local farmers who are using more sustainable and regenerative practices. As far as herbal remedies that can help, these toxins need to be cycled through the liver. So things like milk thistle are fantastic options. Milk thistle is a very well-known supportive agent for the liver and will help cycle glyphosate through the body in a much more efficient way. Ironically, dandelion, which a lot of Roundup users use to kill, is another fantastic support that can help the body detox glyphosate. Not only are spirulina and chlorella powerhouses when it comes to their nutritional value, they're also toxin chelators, which you can use to then eliminate from the body more effectively. But my favorites are fulvic and humic acid. Not only do these help maintain a healthy gut microbiome and build a terrain for a healthy immune system, they can also soak up toxins like glyphosate so you can eliminate them effectively. Like I said, we're at a point now where only 1% of our soil is deemed nutrient dense and it starts by choosing better options and voting with our dollars.